Greetings on July 25th, my Messiah friends, and welcome to Family Sunday School. I'm standing in front of our wall, as a wall might remind us of Nehemiah. We did a fall kickoff launch with Nehemiah a couple years ago, and uh, this week we see that Nehemiah and actually the whole uh, nation of God, the nation of Israel, is sinners. They attempt to do some good things but constantly like much of the old testament do good in god's sight and then fail and mess up and sin do good in god's sight and then fail and mess up again and as we look at nehemiah and um, the passages around him we see that uh, those of us that are good that are christian that are followers of god still are ordinary sinners might try and try and try to do the right thing and even be commended for doing the right thing like Nehemiah and yet we still fall short. We see that we can never keep God's commandments perfectly and that's why we need a savior. That's why we need Jesus. So we're going to take a look at uh, Nehemiah chapter 13. We're going to start at verse 9 and kind of continue on through the end of the chapter. We're going to look at this across all the ages today. Um, chapter or Verse 9 says, Then I demanded that the rooms be purified, and I brought back the articles for God's temple, the grain offering, and the frankincense. I discovered that the Levites had not been given their proscribed portions of food, so they and the singers who were to conduct the worship services had all returned to their work fields. I had immediately confronted the leaders and demanded, why has the temple of God been neglected? Then I called all the Levites back again and restored them to their proper duties. And once more, all the people of Judah began bringing their tithes of grain, new wine, and olive oil to the temple storerooms. I assigned supervisors for the storerooms. Shalomiah, the priest, Zadok, the scribe, and Pedadiah, one of the Levites. And I appointed Hanan, son of Zakor, and grandson of Mathaniah as their assistant. These men had been excellent reputation, and it was their job to make honest distribution to their fellow Levites. Remember this good deed, O oh my God, and do not forget all that I have faithfully done for the temple of my God and its services. So as we can look at that section, just 9 to 14, we see where there had been distortion, where there had been wrongness, where there had been sin, and how uh, Nehemiah was trying to restore it. In his prayer, remember this good deed, oh my God, and don't forget what I have faithfully done. As we continue looking at the, the chapter of 13 of Nehemiah, we see again, then I saw uh, men treading on their wine presses on the Sabbath. So he sees another thing that's wrong. We look at verse uh, 22, and again, he says, remember this good deed also, my God, have compassion on me according to your great and unfailing love. Then we go to verse 23 and forward, and again, about the same time, I realized that some of the men of Judah married foreign women of Ashadad, Ammon, and Moab. So we see again, there's falling short. So I confronted them and called down upon them. We jump to verse 29, and again the prayer is, Remember them, O my God, for they have defiled the priesthood and the solemn vows of the Levites. Con finishing at verse 30, So I purged out everything foreign and assigned tasks to the priests and Levites, making certain that each knew his work. I also made sure that there was a supply of wood for the altar and the first portions of the harvest are brought at the proper time. Remember this in my favor, O my God. We see that his repeated prayer is we fall short don't hold our bad things against us remember the good and we see that we can't ever do enough good he's trying and trying and trying and always finding something else wrong as ordinary sinners we do that too we constantly are working to better follow god better follow his word and yet fall short it's why we gather together for worship to confess or tell God we're sorry for the things that were done, knowing that he then extends his forgiveness to us and gives us a second and a third and another chance so that he doesn't hold our sins against us. But when he looks at us as uh, believers in Jesus, he sees what Jesus has done. 
sees Jesus' sacrifice for us, God's love for us, and instead of seeing us as sinners, sees us as people that are uh, beloved, that are forgiven. And he remembers us for what Jesus has done, not for all the list of bad things we could say that we have done. And what a great thing that is to know that we have um, God's love and forgiveness. So take a look at that today. Our adults have some great follow-up passages in Hebrews about running the race and casting off um, that which is sinful and looking at the thief on the cross, the best example of uh, somebody that had done wrong and yet Jesus looks at him and sees a beloved child, remembers him in the kingdom and doesn't see all the things he's done wrong, sees his faith. Um, so that's a great passage. Our uh, kids have some fun activities with a baseball bat to kind of see what it's like to get woozy and off track and how um, God can give us his forgiveness and redirect us. And our teenagers are going to take a look at a little bit of a earlier section of Nehemiah, Nehemiah 2, and see uh, where God is laying on his heart how to uh, follow and serve and stand up and do the right thing when it wasn't easy to do so. Even when it seemed like uh, things were failing and not uh, going according to plan because there was always something else wrong to fix. And, uh, and yet how God can work through that to bring about uh, love and forgiveness and restoration for his people. So take a look at those. Uh, enjoy some of our activities on www.messiahtampa.com slash Sunday School. And we'll look forward to seeing you online uh, next week, August 1st, for another Sunday School lesson. And we're getting really excited just a couple weeks till uh, August 15th when we're uh, back for uh, regular fall launch and rally day and Sunday School and uh, be kicking off uh, our rally day with a celebration, uh, rally day with our uh, resumed uh, in-person classes, and our uh, red letter challenge. And so we hope that you'll be tuning in and planning to join us, uh, saving the date for uh, 945 and uh, onward on Sunday, August 15th. Looking forward to seeing you soon, friends. Bye.